Hi and welcome to aqua bar class using a noodle. We're gonna use the noodle as a bar, floating bar. Uh, first we're gonna use just one, later on you're gonna need two noodles. Uh, the, no the noodle again is gonna be serving us as a bar for support, but we're also gonna use it for resistance later on in the class, mostly working the lower body. Uh, lots of ankles, feet, to your hips and thighs and glutes and of course your core muscles. So let's get started with a short warm up. Feet wide apart and just relax. Rest your hands gently on the noodle. Relax your shoulders down. Let's bring the head over to one side and then over to the other side. And then from here, half circle going down and over and down and over again. Side bend and side bend, half circle down, and over, and down, and over, side to side, go, and side, half circle, down, and over, and down, and again, side bend, go, side, and side, and half circle, and half circle, and go back to center. Relax your shoulders down. Just circling through the shoulders. Bring them up, back, and around. You want the water to be about chest level. You don't want to be too deep. And circling back. Stay down with your shoulders. Bend your knees. You want to be more submerged in the water and bring the feet together so you're on your toes go ahead and bend the elbows bring the noodle closer to your chest and then away from the chest open up take a deep breath in exhale to release going from flexion slight flexion in the spine and extension and go in to close the chest and open up the chest and exhale, and you're rocking back and forth with your pelvis. Breathe in. And exhale. Open up. And close. Two more. Breathe in. And out. And one more. And come back all the way up on your feet. Take them wide apart again, rotating from side to side. Let the noodle float over to the other side. And pivoting on the back leg, let the heel go off the floor. And one more. The other side. And center. Move your hips gently from side to side. Straight legs. We're not bending the knees. And now going into circles. Hips forward, side, back, and around. And still keeping the knees straight. We're not bending the knees. Lubricating the hip joints. And reverse it in the opposite direction. Two more. Releasing those hips. And coming back up on one leg, just circling through the hip. Bring the leg up, forward, side, and around. Again, we're just preparing those hips for some work and reverse it from the back, side and front. And hold the leg up in front of you, circling through your foot and ankle. And reverse. And other leg, circling through the hip first, front, side and back. And 
reverse from the back, bring it forward. Hold the leg in front of you and circling through your foot and ankle. And reverse. Preparing those ankles for some work. They're gonna work a lot today. All right. And let's start with the feet in a parallel position, about hip width apart. Again, just resting gently the hands on the bar, the noodle, and go ahead, bend your knees, and then raise your heels up, straighten the knees, go up to relevé, and lower down. So we're just rolling through the feet. Go plie, heels up, extend the legs, and lower. When you go down here, try to keep the heels on the ground. Don't let them go up. Then lift them up, relevé. Extend your legs and lower. Let's go down. Heels up and lower. Down, heels, lift and lower. Shoulders over your hips. Another thing you wanna keep in mind when you're bending the knees is not to stick your butt out. So you want to stay vertical, shoulders right over the hips. And down, up, two more, plie, heels, and bend, hold your relevé. Just lower the heels down and raise them up and lower and lift. Going up to releve, we're adding the arms. As we go up to releve, pressing the noodle in towards your thighs and slowly bring it back up with control. And go up to releve. And down. Exhale. Shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale. So here we're incorporating some core work in arms and back. And last three. Control it on the way down. Don't let the shoulders shrug. Last one, stay up on your toes, high heels with the bar down. Shift your body weight over to one leg. And the other leg is up, not touching the ground, suspended, and just single leg heel raise, going up, 10, up, nine, and eight, and seven, up, six, five, long arms, pressing the noodle down towards the bottom, four, three, two, one, switch your legs, and again, down and up. One, and up, two, three, four, five, up, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, release your arms forward and go back to parallel both feet down on the ground. We're gonna raise the heels again. Now turn out through the hips, bring the heels together and go down. And then up to releve and go back to parallel. So we're turning out and back to parallel. And turn out, pivoting on your toes, rotating through the hips, open and parallel. Turn out, work those inner thighs, hip rotators, open and close, open and parallel. Same thing, adding a jump. So we're gonna jump into it, bend your knees and go. Open and parallel, turn out and open. Relax the shoulders. And go. Try to bring the heels down as you land. And then point your feet 
as you jump. You want to fully extend the legs, the knees, and point the feet. Strong legs. And go. Keep going. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Land in your V position and stay there. Come all the way back up. And now we're going to do it all over again. Same thing in a V position. So plie. Raise your heels. And up. And lower. And go. Plie. Heels up. Relevant and down and play. Heels up and down. Again, try to go to the plie, the first plie here, with the heels still down on the floor, and then raise your heels up. Work those thighs, turning them out and rolling through the feet. Work those ankles. And plie. Heels up and down. Knees pointed out. And last four. Three. Two. And one. Hold your releve. Stay up here. Straight legs. Pressing the noodle down. Nice long arms, slowly bring it all back up and lower the heels. So now together, as we raise the heels, going up to a little bit, pressing the noodle down, expanding the chest and lower and go up and down and press. Keep going. Working those arms and core muscles. Try to stay upright. Don't shift your body way too much forward. And last five. Four. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Keep rotating out through the hips. Last one, stay up on your toes, high heels, shoulders down, nice long neck, shift your body weight over to one side on one leg, going down and up, let's go, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, high heel up, up, nine, ten. Switch your legs, other side, and let's go. Up, one, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold up, up, up. And bring both feet back down on the floor. Arms forward and release. Again, going, pivoting on the toes. Parallel and turn it out. And parallel and turn it out. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Work those hip rotators. And we're jumping in. Let's go. Down and jump. And jump. And open. And open. Point your feet when you jump. Straighten the legs. Sharp legs. You don't need to jump high, just to the point where your legs are fully straight with your feet pointed. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Woo. Shake those legs, chain ankles. All right, moving on to the next part. 
All right, for the next part, we're gonna start with a leg up in a passe. So hold one leg up here, toes to your knee, and let the knee open out. We're gonna turn in through the hips, so close the knee, and then open. Just turn it in, turn it out. Allow your hips to rotate, keep your shoulders square, facing forward, and open, and close, and open, turn it in, and out, and in, and open. Now we're adding on, after we open, extend your leg out to the side, foot gently pointed, and bend, turn in, turn out, and extend, go, in, out, and extend and close, open, extend, and close, open. Try to hold your body up here nice and stable. Shoulders relaxed, down, arms gently resting on a noodle for support. And turn in, out, extend. Keep going, in, out, and open. Three more, up, two, and one. Hold your leg out to the side. Now bring the leg forward, rotating the spine towards the leg. And then back to the side. Continue with the leg back and rotating away from the leg. Bend your standing knee. So you're going further down into the water. And go ahead side with the leg, coming back to center, forward with the leg, and rotating towards the leg. Center, and away from the leg. So the leg is doing a half circle, and the upper body is rotating from side to side. And go ahead, side and back with the leg, side and forward with the leg, side and back, Side and front. Good, make sure you're not hiking that hip. Go ahead and press it down, work through the hip joint, rotating it out. Let's do four more. And forward. Try to hold yourself nice and stable. Use your core muscles. Bring the leg all the way to the back, full range of motion. And last one. Stay back with the leg and stay forward with the arms. Now bring the knee in, tuck the knee in towards your chest, extend your leg back out and then go up to releve, straighten the standing leg. And in, and up, and in, down, bending both knees, and then straightening both knees, going up to releve. So you extend one leg out, back, and go. Same leg, going up, and in. Extend, and bend, and up, now we can add the arms here as we go up to releve, pulling the arms down towards your thighs and lower down and up and down and up. You wanna grow taller up through the spine and lift and lower and shoulders down away from the ears. And four, three, two, one. Stay back with the leg, down with the arm, bend your standing leg, and just jump and switch your legs. And switch, and switch. So you kick one leg straight to the back. 
switch. And switch. Keep going. Keep sending your arms down towards the bottom of the pool. And adding on from here on one leg, you're gonna jump on that leg, tuck the knee into your chest, and then switch. So jump, knee in, and switch. Knee up, and then switch. And tuck, and switch. And in, and switch. And in, and switch. Switch, tuck the knee, and tuck the knee, switch, tuck, and switch. Last two. And relax. All right, let's do it all over to the other side. Starting in a passe, both legs are turned out. Also your standing leg, knee open out to the side. Go ahead, turn the leg in and out just whip the leg in and open turn in turn it out allow your hips to rotate pelvis is moving your chest shoulders square forward keep elongating up through the spine staying here nice and stable you're not traveling and adding the leg extension. So after we open the leg, extend and go. In, out, and extend. Point your foot gently for added resistance. In, out, extend. And in, out, and extend. Use your core to stabilize. In, in, out, and open. Three more. And two. Last one. Stay open here. Now bring the leg forward, rotating the spine towards the leg. And then side again to the back, rotating away from the leg, bending the standing knee and go side and forward and side and back turn out through the hip as soon as you start bringing the leg from the back to the front don't let the hip hike full range of motion bring the leg all the way to the back The leg doesn't have to be very high. We don't want to sacrifice the form. You can bring the leg higher up as long as you can maintain that nice form without hiking your hip, rotating the spine, neutral spine, and back, and forward one more time. forward and we're gonna stay back with the leg to stay forward with the arms now tuck the knee into your chest extend the leg back and come up to your releve straighten both knees and go in and up so you bend the knee in the water and up and long arms shoulders down and in Keep your spine neutral. Make sure you're not sticking your butt out and hyperextending the back. And grow taller. Up and in. Extend. And high releve. You can add the arms here again. Pressing them in. And down. And press. And down. And press. 
controlling the movement. It doesn't have to be as fast. You can take it slower if you need to. And up. And both legs straight. And up. Last four. Here we go. Three. Two. And one. Now bend your standing leg, stay back with the leg, switching and jump. And switch. And switch. Nice long arms reaching down towards the bottom of the pole as you're switching the legs. Now adding on, jump, tuck the knee to your chest and then switch and so you have two jumps and and go. Switch and up. Switch, knee tuck and switch. Keep sending your arms down, long arms. Don't let the elbows bend. Straight legs, straight knees as you switching them. Feel the resistance to your glutes. Go, go, go. Four more. Three. Two. One. And relax. Okay. Take a moment break, moving on to the next part. Okay, so now we're gonna start with, in a V position again, but in a releve. So raise your heels up high, and then squeeze the heels together, squeeze your inner thighs. Again, rest your hands gently on the noodle in front of you. Open out one leg, bend your knees into like a sumo squad, or what we call in a ballet, second position, plie, and then up, back to the starting position, high relevé, heels together. Second side, open the leg, down, bend the knees, and up to squeeze. The inner thighs go out, and in, and open, and close, and out, and in. And try to stay vertical, upright, and open, and in, and out. And in, and go, bring up. You're gonna feel the water going against you, so there's a lot of core here as well. And open, and up, and open. Lift your heels up high, squeeze the inner thighs, keep going. Don't let the, the water slow you down. Maintain that same tempo. And open, and up, and open, and up. Go low, bend the knees. You want your body to be submerged to the neck, and then go up. And down, and up, keep going, eight more. And up. Stay frontal, shoulders, hips, square forward. Last four, three, feeling those inner thighs, oh yeah, stay up in the starting position, high releve, heels together, now both legs opening at the same time, landing down again, submerge to the neck, and then glide your heels back together, up, and go, down, and up, and open, close, and open, Squeeze those inner thighs together. And open. Close. And down. Up. Hold the body upright. Don't put too much weight on the noodle. And four. Three. Two. 
one. All right, now we're gonna jump it. So go ahead, open, jump, and close. And bend the knees, bend the knees as you close. Open, and close, and out, and in. When you land, when you go into that plie, try to bring the heels down towards the bottom of the pole. And when you jump, when you're suspended, you try to fully extend and straighten at the knees. Strong legs, sharp legs. And open, close. And open, close. Four, three, two, one and relax okay now we're going to travel with these two exercises back and forth so go ahead and go all the way to one side end of the pool and starting in a heels in a releve heels together toes apart squeeze those inner thighs we're going to take four steps uh, to each side so open up with one leg again bend the knees you want to be submerged to the neck and then close with the other leg come back up to the starting position releve heels together let's go down two more steps open and open and go other side step and close and step and bend the knees straighten the knees and again, let's go. Four, up, three, up, two. Place your heels down on the ground, on the floor, and then raise your heels up to relevant as you close. Meeting only the heels. And again, let's go. Out, and open, and open, and go. And open. You might feel it difficult, more challenging from time to time as we drag the water together with us and then we go against the stream as we're coming back. And go. Ah, close. Open. Up. One more on each side. Go. Open. Close. Squeeze those inner thighs together. And last time. Don't let the body turn, stay frontal. And open, close. All right, now, same thing, but we're gonna jump it. We're gonna step out and then try to meet the legs up when we are suspended in the water. So it's gonna look like this. Step and jump up. Land as you land, you open the leg and up, jump and up. So click your heels together as you jump and step it out and open. And go. About four steps. Keep going, pushing through the legs. Again, you don't want to put too much weight on the noodle here. And go. And jump upright. One more back and forth. And meet those inner thighs and heels up. Knees out. Alrighty, and relax. Shake your legs. And moving on to the next part, you're gonna need two noodles now. Okay, so now with two noodles, one of them is still gonna use us as a bar, the other one for resistance for the leg. So go ahead and press the noodle down, placing your foot, one foot 
right in the middle. Make sure it's centered and then press it down all the way to hit the bottom. And the other one is gonna be in front of you as a bar. Rest your hands gently on top, standing upright. Go ahead and bend the leg, let the noodle float your leg and then press it back down and press. So single leg press. Press and press. Think about pressing your heel down towards the bottom, keeping your weight up on the standing leg. And press and press. Using the glutes and your thigh to press it down. Feel the work there. Now, as we press down the leg, you want to raise the standing heel, going up to relevé and down. Press, lift and down. And press up to relevé and press. And go up, press and press. Hold your balance here, use your core. Again, not too much weight on the noodle, on the bar noodle. Stay up in a relevé and just pressing down the leg. Go, 10, press, nine, and eight, seven. Keep growing taller up through the spine, five. And two, and one and relax okay now press the leg down and bring it slightly in front of you so it can be fully straight go ahead and shift your body weight forward more into like a split the back heel might go off the floor a little bit that's fine hold that nice split use that noodle in front of you as needed and go ahead bring the leg up and press it down so you, the front leg goes up, let the noodle float your leg, and then press it back down. And press. And press. Again, feeling the hamstrings, the back of your thigh, your glutes. Keep that front leg straight. Your knee might be soft. You don't want to lock your knee though. Let's go five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. And come back up on the back leg. And now turn out your hips. And we're gonna press the noodle down. Same thing, everything we did frontal parallel, we're gonna do in a turnout. So go ahead, just starting with leg presses. Keep the other heel down on the floor for now. Now as we press down the noodle, we're gonna raise the standing heel, go up to relevé and down. So it allows you to fully extend the leg as you hit the bottom. You want your hips to be level, make sure you're not hiking that hip. And press. Last four, three, and two. Keep those hips turned out. Stay up in a relevé. Hold that heel high up and just leg presses go down. Ten and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two. And one and relax okay now we're doing our splits go ahead and straighten that leg shift your body weight slightly out to the side 
control that noodle down. I know it's a little bit hard on the inner thighs. And from here, go ahead and floating that leg up halfway. You're not going all the way up with the leg. And press it down. Keep those hips both turned out. And let the noodle float halfway. And press. And press it down. Feel them work in those inner thighs, the adductors. And press. Four, three, and two, one, and relax. All right, let's do it all over to the other side. Switch the legs. Again, place the leg right in the middle. Now rest your hands on the noodle in front of you and go ahead, press it down and press. You want to be in an upright position. Close the rib cage. Hold those abs nice and tight. And press. Five, four, three, two, and one. And now we're raising the standing heel as we press down the noodle, and release, and press, and release, and press, and go up. Again, don't put too much weight on that noodle in front of you. Try to really use the core to hold your body in an upright position. Three. Last one, stay up on your toes, high heel, and just pressing down and it'll go 10, and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, one, and relax. All right, now we're doing the splits, straight leg in front, Shift your body weight forward. You can use the noodle in front of you as needed. The back heel might go off the floor slightly, that's fine. Try to hold your shoulders right over the hips and go ahead, bring the noodle up slightly and press the leg down. And press. And press. Feel the back of your thigh, your hamstrings, your glutes. And press. noodle up just to the point where you feel a slight stretch in the back of the thigh. Gentle stretch and then press it back down. Controlling your alignment here. Staying vertical, shoulders over the hips. Last four and three, two, and one. All right, let's do the same thing to the side. Turn out through the hips, knees, toes pointed out, bend the knee and press it down and press. So starting with the first simple presses with a heel, standing heel on the bottom. Relax your shoulders, feel the work in the inner thighs. And now as we press down the leg, raising up the standing heel. Let's go. Up and press. And press. Hold those hips level. Sometimes there is a tendency to hike that hip. And press. Last five. Four. Three and two. Stay up, 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 up. Hold it up here 
and just the leg pressing down. Let's go, 10. And press down, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. All right, our side splits. So go ahead, let the leg open, lift up, halfway up. If you wanna shift your body weight out to the side here and go press it down, one. And press down, two. Three. Four. Seven. Eight. And bring it all the way in, relax. All right, stretching time. Go ahead and place your leg, one leg over the noodle. Now the noodle sits right behind your knee, the other noodle in front of you. Go ahead and shift your body weight forward. Hold that nice stretch to your hip flexors and go ahead, open up the chest and release. And again, deep breath in to open up. And one more. And release. Now, standing up, glide the noodle down towards your ankle for hamstring stretch. So the leg in front of you is straight. You want your back to be neutral, meaning no flexion here. If it's hard for you to keep yourself in neutral spine in this position, what you do is going back against the wall. So you can do it like this, with the back against the wall, keeping your sacrum bone touching the wall. And to intensify the stretch here, you can flex the foot, the front leg. You feel it also in your calves. We worked a lot on those calves today. We better stretch them. And now we're gonna turn sideways. And again, you can do the same thing against the wall if you need more support. Go ahead, just hold that stretch here. You can circling through your foot and ankle. And reverse. And let's do the other side. All right, so switching leg again. All right, behind your knee, starting with a hip flexor stretch. So go ahead, step the leg back. Open up the chest. Just breathe deeply in and out. So as you breathe in, you wanna open up the breastbones as if you're pushing yourself up, upwards. Feel the stretch all the way up from the hip, going up to your abs and chest. One more, open. And now for the hamstring stretch, glide the noodle down towards your ankle. You can stay here or you can go against the wall. Just make sure you're maintaining a neutral spine here. Shoulders over your hips, no flexions. Flexing the foot for added stretch for the calves. Hold it, breathe. And side, turn out through the hips, shift your body weight over to the side, hold it there, and just circling through your foot, ankle, and reverse. All right, and take that leg out, put the noodle aside, 
and reach your arms up over your head. Take a deep breath in, palms together, up. Exhale. And we are done for today. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun aqua bar class. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye now.